Hey there, everybody. It's Pastor Jason. I'm glad you can join me. We're going to conclude 1 Corinthians today. We're in chapter 16. Let me pray. We'll get right to it. Father, thank you so much for your love and patience uh, with us. May we learn how to better be a church. May we learn how to gather together and do so well. Father, we thank you for 1 Corinthians. We thank you for the things we've been learning about you, about how to follow you better. Lord, may we take hold of every opportunity you send our way, and may we be found faithful with it. I thank you and praise you in your name. Amen. If you hear a little bit more of an echo today, that's because I've got the windows closed. The highway is pretty loud today, so you'll just have to forgive me about that. Um, we're in verse uh, chapter 16, verse 1. Here we go. Now concerning the collection for the saints, as I directed the churches of Galatia, so do you also. On the first day of each week, each one of you is to put aside and save as he may prosper, so that no collections be made when I come. When I arrive, whomever you may approve, I will send them with letters to carry your gift to Jerusalem. And if it's for, fitting for me to go also, then they will go with me. But I will come to you after I go through Macedonia, for I am going through Macedonia, and perhaps I will stay with you, or even spend the winter, so that you may send me on my way wherever I may go. For I do not wish to see you now just in passing, for I hope to remain with you for some time, if the Lord permits. But I will remain in Ephesus until Pentecost, for a wide door for effective service has opened to me, and there are many adversaries. Now if Timothy comes, see that he is with you, without cause to be afraid, for he is doing the Lord's work, as I also am. So let no one despise him, but send him on his way in peace, so that he may come to me, for I expect him with the brethren. But concerning Apollos, our brother, I encouraged him greatly to come to you with the brethren, and it is not at all his desire to come now, but he will come when he has the opportunity. Be on the alert, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong, let all you do be done in love. Now I urge you, brethren, you know the household of Stephanus, that they were the first fruits in Achaia and that they have devoted themselves for ministry to the saints, that you also be in subjection to such men and to everyone who helps in the work and labors. I rejoice over the coming of Stephanus and Fortunatus and Achaicus, but they have supplied what was lacking on your part, for they have refreshed my spirit and yours. Therefore, acknowledge such men. The churches of Asia greet you, Aquila and Priscilla greet you heartily in the Lord with the church that is in their house. All the brethren greet you, greet one another with a holy kiss. The greeting is in my own hand, Paul. If anyone does not love the Lord, he is to be accursed. Maranatha. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with you. My love be with you all in Christ Jesus. Amen. Well, Paul wraps up the letter on kind of how to interact with one another as a church uh, with a great chapter for certain. There's two things I want to make sure I point out, maybe three. First, that everything has its own timing. Everything like when we're working for the Lord, it's on the Holy Spirit and what the Holy Spirit is directing us to do and when to do it and when to go and when to stay. Um, so that's first and foremost, you know, are we are you interacting with the Holy Spirit enough to know when to stay, when to go? And I love how verse 9, like he's in Ephesus at the moment and he plans on staying because a wide door of effective service has opened to him. And there are many adversaries that just because that people come against the, his ideas or come against the mission work that he's going to be doing there in Ephesus is not a note for him to move on. Okay. Sometimes like you'll see people like, oh, well, 
I'm using this. I'm using people who don't like me. That That's the Lord trying to push me along. I don't know that that's necessarily true. Look to verse 9 here. As if you have adversaries, if you have a wide door for effective service, be strong, be faithful, be courageous, and continue doing the work the Lord set out for you, that the Lord has opened a door for you to do. And lastly, in conclusion of 1 Corinthians, I love verse 13. Be on alert, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong. Let all that you do be done in love. Personally, myself, compassion has been a big thing in my, in my spiritual walk lately. Are we being compassionate with those around us? Uh, you know, I think that's a real distinction between just doing a good deed and loving somebody. Do we, is there compassion involved in what we do from day to day? Let all that you do be done in love. That's a great way to conclude 1 Corinthians. It's been a tough chapter, a lot of challenging things for us to think through and pray about and talk to other believers and pastors about. Tomorrow, we're going to keep trucking along. We're going to jump right into 2 Corinthians, and I look forward to seeing you there. I hope this chapter has been a blessing to you. Go on out, be a blessing to those around you, and I will see you tomorrow.